Hello guys and welcome. So today I've decided to address some of the comments and uh, explain how to set up D with a different graphics library. And I have chosen SDL. Before we continue, make sure you have SDL library installed on your system. If you are using Windows, you can just clone the repository and find the DLL libraries in the libs folder. So here they are. And when creating a new D project, you need to add the bind BC SDL package and then specify the versions flag here. So uh, that's it basically. Let's get to the code. So we have a few constants here that we will need later in the code. And before actually using the library, we need to initialize that library. So let's go into this function. So before we can actually initialize the library, we need to load those libraries into the memory. Since bindbc SDL package uses the shared library schema, we need to load those libraries and then we can use them. And this is a separate custom function where we load the libraries we need into the memory. So if you're in Windows, you will have to specify the libraries path. And then what we do is we load the SDL, SDL image, SDL TTF, etc. libraries into the memory, check the return value. And if there is an error, we return false and output a message. Now load SDL, load SDL image, TTF, mixer, these are package functions. So they come from the SDL bind BC package. Now, once we have loaded those libraries, we can go ahead and initialize those libraries as we would usually do so. So you can just search for the documentation and initialize SDL in it, image in it, etc. It's the same. We can follow the tutorials here from. So let's get back to the main function. Once we have loaded up our libraries and initialized them, of course, we need to uh, de-initialize them and free all of the resources once we exit the scope. Now we can actually create a window and a render as you would usually do following any tutorial. So we set a few hints, the vsync, scale quality, and then of course we free the resources upon exit once we exit the scope. Here I grab the SDL current version, the version I'm using, and then I load the texture into the memory, create a surface, and then create a texture from that surface. And here's our game loop. And it's basically the same as with Raylib, but it is a bit more verbose. So we have an SDL event, we we'll pull the event, and then we process the event. And then if we need to, we can update the game logic or whatever it is you're creating and then render everything to the screen. So clear the screen, set the render color, render the texture to the screen, and then display the result. All right, let's actually compile and run it. So dub, and here it is. So this is the texture, the image I've loaded up, and it's displaying everything correctly and it, it works so I can resize it. And the version of SDL that I use is 2.24. Alright guys, so that is it. In the next video, I think I will explain how to set up D with OpenGL and GLFW. So have a nice day and see you next time.